Welcome to another installment of Sushi by Duke. We're rolling new music. I am Duke. This is the world of sushi. Thank you guys for coming back, actually. I, I fucked with you already. On this installment, I'm going to talk to you guys about music. A rapper, singer, songwriter, and producer who comes straight from Cleveland, Ohio. I'm talking about none other than the man himself, Tay Miles. And outside of, you know, winning championships in basketball and killing unarmed black kids for no f***ing reason, Cleveland is pretty good at what they do as far as from a music standpoint. And it just so happened, this guy sounds like those Cleveland people that I'm, I'm referring to. The Bone Thugs and Harmony, the Shaker Heights, Mr. Kid Cudi, the, well, I guess those only two, but but also, you throw in T-Pain into that joint coming from Florida and you just have Mr. Tay Mouse himself. But he raps like the Bone Thugs and Harmony. Fast, upbeat, you gotta really pay attention to some things he said. But it's not too fast, but it's still fast enough whereas you wanna know a little bit more. He has a voice like T-Pain, the old 2000 T-Pain, my favorite T-Pain. If you're not too familiar with the T-Pains, just it's stages. And also, the Kid Cudi vibe. You can tell he's Cudi influenced because he had some of those low moments. Tay's style goes from really, really high up and really, really exciting at times to not depressing, but more mellow and chill than anything else. And it is really a replica of some of the styles that uh, Kid Cudi had back in the Man on the Moon days. He is really a combination of so many different sounds. He is an eclectic, soulful, R&B, hip hop dude who has a very, very melodic voice and does an amazing job of putting his songs together singing the background, doing the vocals. All of it is really executed well. The content is dope. He raps about his life, his experiences, and growing into the person he sees himself becoming in the rap game. But also, what's really, really dope to me is that he has a project out right now called Curl Pattern. This is his way of showing appreciation to the black woman. Talking about black love, talking about the HBCUs, talking about really going out there and being in love with a black woman. I personally think the title curl pattern is a, an, an analogy to the black woman's hair, how a black woman changes her hair and how she's changing. She's forever doing something new and creative and becoming her own through her hair and growing into what it is that she wants to be. And the songs from the project are everything you would expect from Tay Miles and what I've talked about before. Songs on there that really catch my attention to start off will be Comet, which is a soulful ballad joint to really start off this uh, curl pattern tape that he had. Pay me no attention, you can pay me no mind. It's harmless. It's I like Comet because it's really catchy. Like Even if you don't know the words to his songs, you know you can kind of catch the melody and the vibe of it. He does a good job of just showing you exactly who he is from that singer standpoint to the rapping standpoint and the overall messages that he tried to put out there. Another song that always catches my attention will be Bantu Knots, which I just like it because it's a catchy joint. Overall, I think it's a dope song. I can hear it on the radio somewhere. It really, really reminds me of that T-Pain sound I was talking about. It's just a nice feel to it. I really fucks with it. I like it. And finally, um, the song that catches my attention as well would be Assholes Unite, which to me is the darker side of his music, of speaking on him going and doing what he wants to do as far as becoming an artist and having to neglect certain responsibilities of his woman and um, catering to other people in his life because he's so focused on his goal. But to those who may not know it, you know, you're calling this person an asshole saying he, they don't care, but they're having this internal conflict of trying to do what they have to do, but knowing they have other things going on as well. To me, I like this song because it's just, I feel like I'm I'm that guy who he's speaking about. That is Tay Miles. I really enjoyed the dude. Music, I think you guys should check him out. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys like his music, cool, become a fan. Let him know you're a fan because of this review. If you guys do not, that's great too. Let me know about an artist I should check out and I will give you the credit for it if I do a review on it. And the credit for this review goes to I Can't Call It A Blog because thanks to you guys, I now know who Tay Miles is. So shout out to you all there. This is Sushi by Duke, we're rolling on music. Make sure you guys follow us on our social media handles on Twitter and Instagram. Also, subscribe to our page on YouTube. Tell a friend, tweet about it, whatever. Yeah, this is Sushi by Duke. We're rolling on music. Until next time, y'all be easy. Peace. Remember, music is love and love is no good unless you give it away. Yeah, I'm Duke. Hey, 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 what more can I say? Other than you are amazing. She can honey, Vegetina, not the dumb person. It was be way all night. Be here all night. Feel like you could be lit. I think you could be lit up.